So hello and welcome. Got a nice little project here today. This is a Myford cylindrical grinder. I'm gonna do a little bit of a restoration project on it today. It's a Myford MG9. You can just see it there. 440 by 440 uh, volt amps. Um, yeah. There's obviously quite a few pieces missing. Um, you know, belts are missing. Um, there's meant to be a coolant system here that as it's got your wheel in here, Got a coolant system here that would go onto the wheel, drains down into the summit here, bolt into the uh, filtration system here, then we go down into the summit. Um, obviously, to these are these we go inside here, um, which we then have the whole collet system on. But we're thinking about swapping over this collet system um, for a better system, which would run a bit truer. The issue with these ones is that they tend to not actually run the part that you've got in there perfectly in center, so not really grinding on center. Um, kind of the plan today is definitely give it a bit of a clean up, um, possibly even get around to sandblasting some of this paint off and then doing a full nice little restoration job on it. First thing I want to do is check the two motors, see if they're still working. One here, one somewhere in there. Um, check if they're working. Um, uh, if they're not, then we're going to swap them out for some nice new brushless motors. Um, if these work, then we'll just keep them on there. There's a couple of electronics here, the fuse box. It's a bit dated, you can rip that off, put something new on there. But I think the general idea is try and keep some of the older, funkier looking buttons on there. Makes it a bit more character, gives a bit of character. That's quite interesting. I'm not sure if this is the original paint or if this is the primer that then would have been the same color as this put onto it. But, uh, but I mean, besides, you know, sandblasting the paint, everything runs very nicely and smoothly. There's not much resist. There's no resistance at all. Um, both slideways work perfectly. They're in good enough condition. And I think the machine came out of a uh, college machine shop, so it's, it's not really been run. You know, educational machines generally aren't run. You know, they're done. For, they're used for some demonstration purposes here and there, but it's not a production machine. So it's good condition for sure. Yeah, we've had a bit of an issue just trying to find information on uh, this machine. There doesn't seem to be a lot out there on, online. So if anyone does have an MG9, has a user manual or anything, please, uh, if you're willing to share, knowledge is a lovely tool to share. We'll get better with it. So it would be uh, very helpful if you could pass that on, or well, you know, share it, and I'll, not the same thing in the book, but <laughs> a, a little bit of a, a user's manual to point us in the right direction with some pieces would be nice. I think we're still missing, I believe there's meant to be a cover here as well. Um, so we need to get that sourced as well. There's a few little pieces missing here and there, but we can, a lot of the stuff that we can't find, we can probably make ourselves in house. Here's the stone for it. Not in the nicest of conditions, but it will clean up very nicely, I'm sure. We've got this steady with it, but the issue with this steady is that uh, it doesn't fit. It's uh, definitely in the wrong place. This does not, it's about probably twice as high as what the actual, uh, Call it the chuck would actually run at, so it's definitely not the right one. I think we just bought this as a big job lot, and this was just thrown in there. Um, this is a steady for it, which will go nicely pulling the part on the other side. It's only got three of the original four bolts for mounting the machine down onto the actual base here, so just either source another one of these or uh, once again make them in house. But no, it will clean up certainly clean up nicely. Probably should have moved the band out of the way when I, was, before I did this, but oh well, get a bit of uh, citric acid on there or something, clean all the, clean all the rust off, and see what we do. 